email addresses. You know, again, you don't have to push them back to your website to do this. You could start right from your Facebook fan page and say, hey, give us your name and your email, and you know, we, you know, you might have to offer an incentive like any other campaign, and we'll give you free shipping, or you know, you're five percent off this, or you'll get valuable coupons, or you'll, you could download this white paper, or whatever your offer may be. But you could start that again, that engagement cycle directly from your Facebook business page. So again, just to recap as to why it's important to have a Facebook business page is because number one, yeah, you know, if, if somebody's Googling your name, you want to make sure that you occupy the most listings possible that talks positive things about your brand. And a simple way to do that is by building a Facebook page. Um, number two, you want to engage in a WSI consultant because you don't want to just have that simple landing page. You want to make sure it's, it's, you know, it's got these bells and whistles where you're able to do you know, some interaction, some coupons, some offers, some incentives, and just make your Facebook fan page more fun um, for your customers and, and your clients. And even from a branding perspective, you want to make sure it has the same look, feel, design as your corporate website. Because I mean, at the end of the day, this has a lot to do with human behavior and psychology. If somebody's leaving your website and going to your Facebook page, you want to make sure that you know if you have the same colors and so forth, they're more likely to convert. Um, one of the biggest, you could say, reasons why people don't want to build a Facebook fan page is because they're afraid that they're mixing up all their different accounts on Facebook. So, for example, when you have an account on Facebook, you might have your friends there, and you might be at a New Year's party, you might be having a couple of drinks, and, you, and your friends put up pictures of you. And you don't want to mix that up with your business life, and you don't want perhaps your some of your family to see that, and some you know. So you want to keep separate profiles, and this is why people are afraid of building these Facebook business pages because they don't want to mix up all these different accounts. Um, I did a webinar on this earlier, so I'm not going to go through the specifics now, but just speak to your WSI consultant. There are ways that you could actually separate all your different profiles, or you could say accounts or friends on Facebook, so they can only see certain things. Um, so to illustrate that, I'll just show you an example of my personal Facebook page. So if you look at my Facebook page, here's my central page. Um, this is what I see, and of course I'm the administrator, so I get to see everything. But then of course to that, I have a whole group of my family that's on there, and you know they see images of my, you know, my nieces, my nephews, my cousins, and you know all the, the you know, the Christmas holidays, and that's specific to them, and they only see that, and that doesn't interfere or get mixed up with my personal friends, which I have my friends, you know, when we go out and play poker, you know, and you know we, we have our own separate life, and that's my own.